We are making chicken parm. It's a fantastic Italian dish that you have to use boneless chicken breast. See? This is boneless chicken breast. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put this into the flour. See? It's fully coated. in. I'm going to use... What's the matter with this egg? Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Have trouble with the egg for a minute. The egg had a mind of its own. Didn't want to break. Strong little baby. Yeah, I want to whisk that up real nice. I'm going to whisk it up really nice. I might have to use more eggs. Yeah, you're going to need more than that. All right, I'm going to put the chicken into the egg. Now, what I'm going to also do is put some seasoning into the uh, flour mixture, which I forgot to do. I'm going to put some garlic powder in. Okay. I'm going to put oregano in. I'm going to put paprika in. Just dash it in there. I'm going to bring it back here in a minute. Good. And some black pepper. and a little bit of salt. This is going to go back into the flour mixture to get the seasoning. There we go. You want to stir that up? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this back in here. Look at this. It's sticking better. Now I'm going to stick it into the breadcrumb mixture, into the breadcrumbs. And I'm going to put it on this dish for now. I'm going to mix the same thing and put it into the flour mixture. Egg mixture, which you're running out of. Bread crumbs. You just probably want to just grab like two or three more eggs. Yeah, of course. Oh. I'm going to dip it in here, the flour mixture. It has garlic powder, oregano, and all kinds of wonderful uh, Italian seeds into the egg. And then into the bread crumbs. Look at this. It's going to come out really great. Put it on the dish. Oh, one thing. When you use chicken, make sure you always wash your hands. Because it's carries all kinds of deadly bacteria. You gotta be very careful. It's gotta be well cooked. Okay, I'm gonna dip it into the breadcrumbs again. Okay. And I'm gonna transfer it over and we're gonna start cooking it over the flame. Italian dish. I get this in all my famous fav favorite Italian places. Okay. Go. Okay, what I'm going to do is put a little bit more seasoning, a little bit of more garlic powder. No, it's going to be delicious. This is really an Italian meal. My grandmother definitely made this. Grandma Bessie. Uh, oregano. A little bit more paprika. Just a little bit of flavor. Okay. All right. Now what I'm going to do is. I'm going to put on some marinara sauce on top of the chicken. And this is going to need to cook for probably, most likely, half an hour, 45 minutes, because it has to be done yeah, inside. You're going to want to do a little bit more on that one. If not done inside, you're going to have yeah. something that's not going to be too healthy. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is a little bit more. I'm not satisfied. Here we go. Okay, that's this, good. Is this is marinara sauce. Now the next thing I'm going to add on is the cheese, the uh, mozzarella cheese. Here we go. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is add a one. little bit more on this one. My cameraman is telling me. Now I'm going to add on some Parmesan cheese, right? Where it got its famous name from. Yeah, be generous with that. Here we go. All right. This is going into the oven. Cook it for about. I'm saying, I'm guessing 35 minutes to 40 minutes. It has to be done inside. Go. And here it is, chicken parmesan. Now what you serve it with is, you need to serve it with a pasta. It's like you get in the Italian restaurant. You have to serve it with pasta. You don't serve it with pasta. Get the spoon going. Always make sure everything is clean when it comes to chicken because chicken is one of those Thing, Go. And here it is, Parmesan chicken, chicken parm, 
with, with uh, pasta, and it also goes great with Texas toast. Deborah Wade's Home Country Kitchen. Have a great day.